on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Did, uh, did, did you... Did this woman really just hang up on me? No, bad. No, I'm going. I'm going home. Problem child. Yes, Miss Aizawa. <laughs> I mean, Mister Aizawa Sensei. What is it? You are not leaving me here like this. Fine. As then as soon as he goes to pick up Aizawa, this is where Lala shows up is, don't worry, I got this. Injecting Aizawa with something else, and she turns back into a he. Much to Mineta's disappointment, but yeah, we have too much fan art. Or not enough, depending on your preferences. So... What's with you hanging up on me? What's with you using my inventions without asking? Okay, you see, um, this is medicine? Uh huh. My medicine. Did you make it just for me so I wouldn't get. Yeah, you! Not your teacher. Give me that, these students. I used your DNA to make it so you would get healed. As everyone looks at Aizawa, and he's wait, used his DNA to make the medicine he used to cure me, at least heal me. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Young Midoriya here is in. Don't say it. Don't. Please don't say it. S say what? Don't say what you're about to say. Mez. Oh. You're about to say how Midoriya was inside you, huh? <laughs> Everyone. Is admitting a murderous aura around Mineta Mez. What? Am I wrong? As yes. There is not enough blood in the world to replace what Mineta lost. But somehow he survives this shit. Because plot. Now, when it comes to them pretty much getting training done... Izuku has trained a lot with Lala and her inventions. Momo is forbidden from being anywhere around Izuku. Now, now she's pretty much like, I still don't accept you as my brother-in-law. If you would kindly just break off the engagement to my sister, we can go home. Or else why I had to call our father so he can open up the cans of whoop ass on your planet. What are you talking about? You're serious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your dad has better things to do than try to go war with the whole planet. Then he remembers when Laz is like, Oh no, he, he loves... Fighting, destroying things, starting wars, winning wars. This is his whole thing. Is he thinking back? Hmm. How strong is your father? He could easily body anyone on your puny planet. Damn. Oh, uh, she's telling the truth. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Damn. Okay, fine. Tell you what. I would like to issue a challenge. Uh, what kind of challenge? Lala, 
I'm going to tell you what my strategy is. You have to promise two things. At least two things. The others I might add depending on what happens. Okay. Where are they? First, you can't be mad. What are you planning on doing? Nothing. Nothing yet. Two. You can't tell anyone what I'm about to end up doing. What are you planning on doing? Don't worry. No. What are you planning on doing to my sister? So help me God, I will just trust me. Right now, I don't trust you considering your conditions. <clears throat> oh, you bastard. I'm down. Yeah. Serious? Yeah, why not? I mean, that'd be the most effective way, definitely. She'll try to kill you afterwards, so. She'll have to survive my onslaught first. <laughs> you serious? You serious? You really think I'm going to lose this human? Oh, come on, sis. You know me better than that. I don't want to kill your, your soon to be ex fiance. You have no idea what is planned. You don't stand a chance. As Momo actually initiates the fight, Izuku, he vanishes. Ah, the, oh, please. Of course, you're going to be right behind, as no, he's not. He's right in front of her, her skiing spooked as Izuku finally gets behind her and grabs her tail. Uh, what are you doing? Well, <clears throat> spending enough time with your sisters, I learned a few things. Him using his thumb to rub her, her tail, her... To those who know the anime, know what kind of, what happens if those situations present themselves. Izuku is telling Nana to yield. Her, being stubborn as hell, refuses. Until Izuku just turns up the heat. The only thing is, as so she does yield, she is in a, in a very compromising position. And I mean compromising as Inko shows up, Sastian, and they see the state she's in. And sees that Izuku is still holding her tail. Sastian already knows what happened. Inko is confused, but also starting to catch up to it. Huh? This is not what it looks like. We're sorry for interrupting. Closing the door. <laughs> That's what you get. You said you weren't getting mad. I'm not mad. I'm enjoying your suffering. <sighs> But, just looking at Nana, she's breathing all heavy after Izuku's attack. I am going to kill you. I don't care how long it takes, how many years, I will kill you myself. You, you are going to wish you had taken my offer to just get rid of the engagement. Because what I'm going to do you, you is not mercy. Hmm. Okay. Bye. You go dashing out of the window. Nana screaming at him saying, This is not the end. I know where you live. And yes, that is how that ends. When Izuku is pretty much training his ass off, this is pretty much when he notices something. A blonde haired girl wearing a weird, very weird clothing. Is yes, he walks up to her asking 
Oh, is there a cosplay convention? A Yuzuku Madoya? <gasps> she knows my name. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. But she's such a, she seems like a sweet girl, so I doubt it's anything bad. Yes, I am, and you are? Darkness. Huh. That's a very interesting as blades show up out of nowhere and Izuku is nearly run through. <laughs> Excuse me. Where, where? How? As then, yes, a fist shows up as Izuku is captured and held in one place. Then her arm shifts into a sword as it prepared to cleave him in half. Izuku is beyond confused, but he knows if his life is in danger. He breaks out of it and runs like the Dickens. He got away. But not for long. As yes, wherever he hides, there's darkness. Wherever he tries to run, darkness is right behind him. Oh wait, this sounds actually kind of literal. But still... He has no choice but to fight. Though he doesn't wind up critically injuring her, he's pretty much like, I have no choice. If anything, she attacks first. So at least it's fair. However, he did not expect the level of, you say, finesse that Darkness seems to have on her belt. Yeah, she's an assassin, but you didn't know how good she was. Never heard of darkness. Oh, he knows that this chick wants to kill him. In which she actually almost succeeds several times. He's covered in cuts, bruises, as well as him thinking, I did nothing wrong to deserve this, but this is my life now. Going through his head. And then this is when Lala shows up. <sighs> Come on. He's a good time for darkness. Princess Lala. Wait, you know this chick? Is she one of your friends? Oh no, she's an assassin. What? Oh yeah, she has quite the body count. I don't think she's ever failed a mission before. Huh, so what are you doing here? To kill him. Just pointing at Izuku. Though you want to kill bad people. He is bad. He's a... From what I heard, he's the most villainous of villainous beings that ever could exist in the entire known universe and the unknown. Did not not put you up to this? No. Your Highness. She did not. Hmm. Wait, I know exactly who did this. As in, yes, she's like, okay, hold on, hold off on killing my fiance. Okay, let's talk. And if I turn out to be wrong, then you can kill him. Uh, what? Oh, don't worry, I'm pretty sure I'm right. And if you're wrong, I die. I do not like that. Well, we should want to worry about Momo's advances on my inventions. Okay, let me let me try to explain something here. J just give me a second. I do not want to die. Dying is something. That is on the very last of last of my to-do lists. And yet you, you're acting like it's no big deal? Hmm. You know, if you, when you put it like that, it does sound pretty bad. You think? So, let me get this straight. Let me understand. If you're wrong about this hunch of yours, I die. But what if you're right? She leaves you alone can't do that. What? 
once I take a job, regardless of the circumstances, I have to complete it. You don't say, but I do. Um, what if I give you a present? Hmm. What do you mean a present? Um, okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. <gasps> Ah, I got it! One thing that no one can truly resist. As, yes, he does bring some tokoyaki. Was it takoyaki? Man, these pronunciations killed me. Urge. Is it poison? No. Eat it for yourself, then. So you can take a bite and enjoying it. Uh, are you seriously? You really think as darkness pretty much snatches the bag with one pretty much being uh, strangled by her teeth? Well, do you accept my peace offering? Yes. Where can I get more? Oh, you just got a local store. I mean, you will have to purchase just sit with money, but money I have. And that is pretty much when they're going under the investigation to find out who hit, put the bounty on poor Izuku. They find out, and this poor, poor fool, love-stricken, possibly power-hungry fool, gets dealt with by darkness personally. And that is how it ends. But, Izuku's train is far from over uh, up until the sports festival. T as soon as it starts, he feels like a great burden has been lifted off of his shoulders, in which he has. I mean, his wife is and her adventures are pretty problematic if they are left unsupervised and under someone else's possible malicious intent or if they're just a perv. But when it comes to Bakugo's speech, it's not at all like it would be in canon. If anything, he's talking different. He's Calm for some reason. He feels as though hey, all's right with the world for some reason. But people don't really notice this, but Yuzuku definitely does as well as Class 1A. Hey. Bago, you alright? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Haley, I broke up with that other girl anyway. Doesn't matter. Really? Yes. I believe I found someone else. Huh. Okay, so you're done trying to outdo me for some stupid reason? Oh no. This. This test. This sports festival is where I prove my superiority over you. I know you said that. When it comes to the sports result, Izuku right now was around. Let's give him 50%. But as I mentioned, so I, I, I could have given him something higher. Prove me wrong. When it comes to uh, the race, Izuku is in first place. Cavalry battle? Since he does have a lot more control over one for all. People have seen him use it, and with his quirk mastery, it's top notch. His team wins. When it comes to the versus battles, he knows how to shut up. Especially when it comes to serious situations. Like a fight, defusing a bomb, making sure... That uh, one of Laws of Bitches doesn't level the whole city. You know, pretty, pretty uh, regular stuff. So, 
He still good wins that, just like in canon. He hasn't even opened his mouth. When it comes to his fight versus Shoto, it's different. One, he's like, this is, I just want to get this fight over with. He tried to watch that Toroki. As he does notice, the more Toroki is using his quirk, the more he's actually starting to freeze himself over. He's like, oh man. One hand, I want to win. But on the other hand, if he doesn't use his other side, he is going to end up losing some limbs. Or at least a finger. Or toe, minimum. So, blah, blah, blah. Tano Jutsu, main character, pretty much all of them have it, even at an owl house, in our house, prove me wrong. And it's when it comes to Ida, is it is, I'll make this quick. Just one shot's Ida. There's no competition. It's his fight with Bakugo that has everyone interested, because he actually wants to see. These knows that Bakugo's explosive quirk is highly. Dangerous and versatile, as is when Izuku's quirk. Only thing is, Bakugo is nowhere near as brutal as he would be. Or if anyone would think, it's like, wait, is that the same person? That's the same quick tempered, angry Pomeranian explody guy? Which it is. If anything, his attacks don't seem that angry. As Izuku, he's wondering, okay, what what's he have planned? Is, uh, I just really want to see her again. Huh? Wait, 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 what are you talking about? Oh, you mean your ex? No. Forget that woman. Forget her. I, I don't need her. I'm telling this other one. She has fiery red hair. Her sizes are. She's like. Huh? Fiery red hair. Yeah. Her eyes are like rubies. Okay. Crimson red lips. Excuse me? And the dress she is wearing. It was like. A blazing inferno. What? Yeah, I saw her during the break before the sports festival. I just thought she. <laughs> I would kill to see her again. Um. She didn't so happen to be and. Address here. It's like, yeah. Wait, how do you know? Flashback. As yes, one of Law's experiments went dreadfully wrong, to which, yes, Izuku was gender bent. Only thing is, his features were changed as well to a certain extent. Not so that he's a, just a complete gender bent version of himself, he's been turned into some whatever. You could say someone you would really want to to bring. You want really want to bring her home if, if uh, you want to drink some coffee together or something, or uh, Netflix and chill with. You know. So upon hearing the description, knowing who Bogo was talking about. Izuku is rightfully scared and terrified. On one hand, yes, he is not known who this mystery woman really is. Mako does not know her, luckily. But on the other hand, Izuku has become the crush of his bully, someone he doesn't give a damn about anymore, let alone even want to consider as a partner. Upon realizing this, Izuku's attacks get more and more ferocious to the point where he is blushing, he is yelling, telling Bago to shut up because he is constantly talking about 
not only about this girl, but also the things he wants to do. To the point where Mineta's pervy meter goes through the roof and his bloody nose can be seen from outer space. So, yes, Izuku beats Bakugo senseless because he won't shut up about this mystery girl. Lala already knows, like, <laughs> oh, you go through way too much for, for someone, like, uh, so innocent. You do not deserve this, but at the very least, it is at least funny to watch. So, Izuku wins the sports festival, and it's a bittersweet victory because he had to get really upset and really wanted to pound Bakugo phrasing pause hold on <clears throat> you know what I meant he really wanted to beat Bakugo down okay that's better Bakugo he is pissed off that he lost but nowhere near to the point where Ken would he had to restrain his ass I mean, he technically won there, but still, he's a, he didn't feel like he earned it. Is he a goof? Pissed. Happy. Scared. Bongo. Lovesick. A little upset. And, uh, wanting to meet a certain someone again. And that's pretty much how that goes. As far as internships, Izuku does go to Gran Torino, in which he thanks Gran Torino profusely because of. No, it's not Takoyaki. Tomato. Damn it! You know what I mean! The fish pastries! Yes, Gran Torino's like, okay, so you had like they saved your life. They did. Thank you, Master. You, you saved my life. I'm not going to ask what that's about, but yes, please continue with the praise. I, I, I earn it. I've earned all of the praise. Thank you so much. Please keep piling it on. However, when it is time for the whole Nomu invasion attack, Izuku is more than ready. Gran Torino gets some permission to use his court to the fullest. In which he does. However, just like a cannon, Stain is pretty much crippled. He is brother. Yep, wanting revenge, as you would. So yes, that still stays the same. Only difference is this is actually where Izuku unlocks Black Whip, not to catch her Stain, but to get Ida and Native out of there. And he runs like hell. Stain, it's like, did he not notice I was here? As he falls from the rooftops. Nosing the, wait, what? As Izuku is berating Ida, telling him, why would you go after the hero killer? I know he hurt your brother. He ruined his hero career. That is no reason to go for vengeance. That is not what heroes are about. That is not why we joined UA. Get your shit together, or else you are going to get yourself killed. Seeking vengeance. So, Stain? Okay, maybe there are some true heroes in the newer generation. I guess I'll leave. So yes, Stain gets away. Or did he? Anywho, when it comes to that, yes, Izuku is a bit getting flack for allowing the hero killer to escape. But then he, he has to uh, remind them that technically I'm not supposed to be using my quirk like this. And I'm, I'm not supposed to be using my quirk at all. So, uh, you know, no. No license, no hero fighting? Isn't it illegal? <laughs> Just leaving them spaceless is like, yeah, he's right. But it's when he tells All Might and Gretchen about the other quirk. 
Black Whip, the, that's one of the quirks of the previous users. Do you, uh, Master, do you think they could get other quirks? Yes! Yes, I do! But which one should he unlock next? Hmm. Float. Yes. That's the one you should get next. But why? Think of it. It seems kind of fitting, doesn't it? Are you sure? Yes. I believe so. You just go like, okay, so I got a previous user's quirk. Wait, but why flow precisely? Does my predecessor's quirk? Really? Nanashimura. <laughs> what, what, what? What's wrong? You say no, no. Yes. What's wrong? <laughs> Midoriya? Silence! <laughs> you, you, what, what's this Nana look like? I'm getting a picture like, oh, thank you, Jesus. What? Oh, uh, I was, it's nothing. Don't, don't worry about it. I just, oh, don't scare me like that. All I said was Nana. Shimura. She was my mentor. She, what's wrong with you? You seem like you... Don't worry about it. Uh... If anything, I... I need to go. As then he feels like someone's watching him. Is it, uh, he feels a terrifying presence, or at least one that he should be cautious of. Okay. I don't feel like I'm in danger, but I sure as hell don't like the feeling of being followed. So if anything, he starts running. As he hears footsteps slowly starting to gain, him bashing out the air and duo chopping the poor bastard who decides to follow him. As then he pulls the hood back and is like, oh wait, this is a girl. Her opening her eyes is... You were amazing. Huh? As he gets kissed on the lips. Uh, I, I, uh, see you later. Just leaving. He's going to be with his day stage. Why? Why is this happening to me? Did I piss someone off somehow and this is my punishment? This is, is this my karma for some reason? Him going home and telling Lala. Her... What? What does she look like? Please don't kill her. It's like, shut up. Don't worry about it. That could come later. It depends on what she looks like considering... Hmm. Ah. So this is what she looks like. Hmm. She looks kind of familiar, but I'm not really sure. Uh, she could be one of us. You don't think she's an assassin, is she? You don't think she... Her, her lips are poison, did you? Like, <sighs> wow, you are paranoid. Calm down. Just because there were one assassin does not mean there, well, technically there are multiple assassins, but there isn't really, well, maybe there is a slight chance that someone sent more than one after you, but still, I'm pretty sure they would have killed you or figured out that you were not one to be trifled with, considering how you apprehended her, but let her escape. Hmm. My... Is it uh, not enough that I kiss you? Uh, as not at all what I say. Oh no, you you've been saying a lot lately. 
you don't spend nearly as much time with me as you used to. Don't, don't, don't start at that. I'm just saying, it pays to feel appreciated or to appreciate what you have, you know. I do appreciate you. Him giving her a kiss on the forehead is like, hmm. Okay, you're off the hook. As soon as they do show back up, Ida is very apologetic to the point where he's like, I am a fool. Yes, I know. I can understand that you're mad. Yes, I am. I got yelled at because I decided to save you, but let the hero killer get away. But... I, I'm, I'm happy that you are right, at the very least. Really? As he is, this is a like, okay, sell down. We have a new transfer student. Uh, I want to say hi to everyone. Izuku just jumps up and is like, you, you thief. Everyone, excuse me? It's you again. Her lunging at Izuku, giving him a full blown kiss this time, not caring about no damn witnesses. Momo, you know, class 1A Momo, is like, you deviant. All the girls are both pissed off at Izuku for technically his actions, but also. Envious considering this new girl is so bold and already knows one of the strongest guys in their class. Baka goes like, Dude, your fiance is going to kill you. Uh, uh, I, I'm sure I can talk my way out of this one. Is rude. Don't worry about Lala. She already knows. What? As then. Yeah. 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 Please, please don't sneeze. I, I, I want to get in no gays out. <laughs> Pop of smoke. And Izuku knows. Is like. Wait. Something. Something's wrong here. Smoke clears, Izuku sees that it's a guy. Huh? <gasps> what the hell, man? Just, what are you doing? It's like, uh, 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 what? You're, you're a dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a dude, so what? Hey, Zuku, he touches his lips, but then sheds a tear. Like, what's, 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 what's that for? There's a, wait, him, he's like, uh, oh no. Rude just looking at it, go oh, away, he's wearing a schoolgirl's uniform. It's like, no. No, 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 no. What does she do? What are you talking about? You mean, what did you do? You stole my lips. Twice. I did no such thing. As then, man. Fuck it. Fuck this. No. No. I am into a lot of shit. But Yowie, no. I'm out. Please. Peace out. Just, I'm out. Just, just let me. Just let me ascend with peace. Can you at least turn to a girl before you do, try to do anything else? Please. What? Yow. Wait. Yowie, what does that mean? Zuku blushing while also having a bit of rage aimed towards Mineta. 
Listen, Grape Juice, do you want to say that again? Like, I don't care what you guys do in the privacy of your own, you know, abode. But we are here to learn to be heroes. And we shall not stand for the depravity and the displays of affection. Are you serious? <laughs>